I didn't know about Richard and Mildred. I heard about Loving versus the state of Virginia as right. a case. I had no idea who they were, but I'm Australian, so I figured, like, I'm off the hook. It's not my responsibility to know that part of history. Then you, like, wonder where was that day at school for Americans? Because most young Americans don't know about the story. Those names are not in people's minds and on people's lips. And nor are they really on the civil rights timeline as educated at, in high school. You know, look, I love being scared at the movies. I recently saw a YouTube video clip that scared me and made me feel more tense than anything I've seen in a long time. It's an iguana running away from a bunch of snakes. You've got to watch this. <laughs> One Animal versus Another Animal videos are some of the favourite real-life dramas I've ever seen. Basically, the snakes can't see, but they can feel and sense movement. And this iguana is just trying not to move. But there's three or four big brown snakes kind of swirling around. And he knows that if one of them happens to slide over him, he's done. And the moment the snake touches him, he just takes off. And there's like 20 different snakes all trying to chase him on this beach. He's got to get to this rocky cliff. Dun, dun, dun. Let me get back to the real story here. My point is that movies, like, uh, I guess, are a safe place to feel fear, because you know there's no real payoff or real outcome to it, but you can feel it in the moment. There's nothing more terrifying than, than actually watching a story where you go, oh, that could actually happen or mm -hmm. that person could really exist. I think the irrational fear that drives a lot of my behaviour, I think, is the fear of not being appreciated or not being liked. I know this isn't like a psychologist couch here, but a lot of us walk around like t constantly like putting too much effort in and trying to please people or deciding that other people don't value us or that they don't like us and it really actually doesn't matter. When someone says, do you want to completely hide behind mm -hmm. a mask? You're like, yeah, but then your vanity comes back. You're like, but they've got to see me, you know, uh -huh. they've got to know it's me. But then why, why do they have to? My first proper kiss was in a game of uh, Truth like Dare. Truth Dare, but the first kiss that had some proper like feeling behind it was a different thing and I really balls that up. I kissed a girl, I had the opportunity, and, I, and uh, as I sort of was making the approach, I made a, a split, what I thought was a really great decision, I don't know why at the time, to kiss her on the arm <laughs> instead of the general face area. She broke up with me two days later. The arm, I was just terrified. She had blue, uh, light blue flannel shirt on. Yeah, it wasn't like I was trying to kiss clothing, it was just that I was trying not to kiss face because <laughs> I was scared, I was like, I didn't know how to handle women. I was 14 and it was a party at my house and, uh, and, and that was Friday night and then Monday morning at school she broke up with me. Definitely because I kissed her arm. She, she was like, sign of things to come. I'm, I'm gonna cry if we talk about this anymore.